And I told him he wouldn't be interested, but what the heck. How about Nathan Fillion? <laughs> you got this one? These questions were brought on by our, our fans on Twitter uh, throughout the week. Uh, wanted to start off with Joss. How's it, how you doing there, sir? How you doing? What's Twitter? <laughs> is that the young people nowadays? Is that, was, is that that really, was that really you, that, the, the day that uh, somebody who sounded a lot like you showed up saying you were, uh, I think it was Josh Wheaton. Was that really? On Twitter? On Twitter, yeah. That was not me. Wow. They were really that was good. not me. That was excellent. All right, well, uh, tell us about Avengers, if you would. Come on, they all want to know. John Steed and Emma Peel are a wacky <laughs> pair of crime-solving spies who live in London, and it's a great film. It's a great film. <laughs> um, uh, I can't tell you anything about Avengers, except we're almost exactly halfway through, and I yet live. Um, it's really fun. It's going to be the finest film of our generation after this one. Please come and see it, blah, blah, blah. I, can't I, really I, can't I still haven't gotten a call sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Any minute. Any minute. <laughs> Afraid man in traffic. Uh, <laughs> no, nobody else could do it. I said no. I drew the line. I said no. We need a name. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right. Well, I Our really quick. Obviously, everyone here is a, a huge fan. So we could all just share a moment with, with the fans, uh, uh, something that, that calls you back. Obviously, it's touched everyone in this room's life. If you could just uh, tell us quickly about a moment that, that kind of touched yours, that brings you back here tonight. Um, I'm, you know, I, yes, I'm assuming that you all have that moment. Get over it or make one up. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Before I met Joss Whedon and Tim Minear, <laughs> Minear. <coughs> Seriously, I screwed that one up too? Okay, I predicted it. Thank you. And I saw him with mine eyes. <laughs> okay. I didn't know stuff like this actually happened. I hadn't been to a convention. I'd never seen Comic-Con. I didn't, I knew there were Trekkies and Trekkers. I, I knew of that stuff, but I didn't know you could kind of go out there and touch it. <laughs> Don't touch it. <laughs> so, <laughs> line on the left. So, yeah, so this, this has become a reality for me. This is now my reality. <laughs> and it's pretty sweet. Welcome aboard. <laughs> what is that number? Because he's got a checkbook right uh, now. I'm happy, write that. I'm happy to announce that we will be making a second season of Firefly. Malcolm Reynolds will be a crime-solving novelist. <laughs> um, I'm in. <laughs> Remember how hard we had to explain that? But we had to fight for that. They were like, no, no, you should be describing the ship. It's like, no, 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 the whole point is Caesar across a crowded room. Can it be Picasso? It can be Picasso? Oh my God, that's such a fun show. Let me tell you Castle's story. Um, I, uh, man, I had a great time doing that stuff. I got to be a cowboy. I don't, I don't know. I can't pick up, pick the best one. Jesus. No. Ain't going to do it. It's like you spent a week in heaven. What was the best day? Dude, it was heaven.
I actually, I can have advice for somebody in college. I, I remember being extremely stressed about one of my college exams. Sitting down, having just crammed and crammed, and sitting down going, okay, here it goes. Here, my, my, my stomach is in my throat. I'm not, nothing's focused. I can't be right. And as the professor starts describing the exam, I look at him, I say, I don't know this guy. <laughs> I'm not in this class. <laughs> Feeling pretty good. <laughs> Later, everybody, I'm out. True story. I have no college stories. I said, it's fantastic. I saw the paper, I'm like, woohoo. <laughs> That's what I said. You cannot create a subclass unless they're actually like subterranean mole men, <laughs> which is awesome. Agreed. Can you go on record as saying that you are for keeping marriage away from subterranean mole men? Is that, <laughs> is that what you're saying now? We can marry subterranean mole men if we choose. <laughs> I believe Fair subterranean enough. mole men should be allowed to marry if they love each other, or even if they don't. It's their business, really. <laughs> Very bold statement, sir. Uh, go ahead. I'd like to marry a subterranean mole man. <laughs> My wife did. <laughs> All right, well, I want to thank you guys so much. <laughs> what the hell? All right. All right, I want to thank our panelists. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Exit, stage left. <laughs>